Hi, it's Kim. And I'm Courtney. Have you ever wanted to bling a pair of tennis shoes? Well, we're gonna show you how right, right now. now. Okay. This week, Garrett is out of town. So this week, Kim gets to pick the project. And I'm going with the back to school theme. Just, so just an excuse for her to rhinestone some shoes. That's what we're gonna do. So I've got some new tennis shoes and we're going to bling our tennis shoes this week. I purchased a TRW, the Rhinestone World, diamond cut flat back rhinestone shoe kit. Say that five times fast. And it comes with Stones for shoes, glue, a little syringe, syringe glue applicator, this, what is this? It's like a grease pencil, I think. Grease pencil for applying the stones and some tweezers. So I have my guest host with me today, which and is- resident expert. Yes, that is why she's here with me today because Court has already blinged some tennis shoes and has her own lessons learned and experiences. So we're gonna use her as our resident expert. I'm gonna pass it over to you and now you can tell me what comes next. The right way to do things, you don't start at the tail. It's hard to gauge where you're going from the back of the tail here forward. So if you go here and you keep going and going, you don't really know where to stop because it's weird. So you wanna kind of back yourself into a corner this way and only so. use the sizes you have to use to go up here. So you want to start at the... The widest surface. surface. Yeah. The, you want to start at the bottom of the little swoosh here. Again, don't start at the tips because it's just harder to figure out where to fill in stuff from that point. Oh, so don't start at the tips. So I'm going to yeah. start on the sides. That's what I like And to then do. work my way up to the tip. Yeah. So I filled... Uh, I filled out like the bottom of the swoosh outline and then I'd kind of go up in here with the outline and then I would fill in all of, and I'd, I'd pretty much outline the swoosh right here and then I would fill in from the bottom this way. You want to work your way up and then back. All right, well, let's use this super tight fabric tack adhesive. Oh, super tight. I brought my own E6000 in case this does go wrong. What is E6000? E6000 is a little bit more of an, not an industrial strength epoxy, but it is a- I don't, ah, what? Ah, it's no. coming out the top. It's not. Oh man, oh wow. Are we gonna need that much glue? Oh man, I might've been a goof. I might have, I should have only filled it halfway. We're working on some stuff. I've never used super tight. I think we need a paper towel. Ah, no, my pants. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hold this please, ma'am. Nurse, just let me it's get- It's all over oh. the pants. It's everywhere. It's like, get it off my table. It's a table. You make stuff on this table. I've watched your YouTube channel. So we'll get started here. All right, yeah. So I'll show you. I'll show yeah. you. See if you can get close and show. Do you think you can stand and show? Yeah. So what you <laughs> want to do is fill in here a little bit with glue, and you want to fill in here a little bit with glue. So... I'm gonna do this facing me for a second and I'll kind of show you where it went. Don't get it on the shoe! <laughs> We're gonna fill in this. Just paint that on. Yeah. You just kind of smear it around. While you do that, I will show that we're using SS10. I don't know if you can see that. SS10 rhinestones in crystal. Me? What does it mean? It means... Leave a comment down below if you know what SS means before she sets it. It means... <laughs> super small, size 10 rhinestones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm gonna begin While she does well. that, you can see this is about... Oh man, sorry. <gasps> see? Don't get it on the shoe, don't get it on the shoe! Wow, it comes out fast. You were right about that? that. Yeah, well it's more of a clean around these two. But, so I want you to know that you're gonna take the little grease pencil because it's a little bit tacky. And you're gonna. Hope the dry is clear. Beep, and pick it up. You're gonna get a little rhinestone. You're gonna pop it right on there. This is terrible. No, no, don't say that. Oh no, the, the application is going to be great. The whole thing's going to be great. Our cam main cameraman who seems to really know what he's doing is gone. We <laughs> miss him! Who knew? What were you going to say? I'll leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you think I should always be on the channel. 
Let me know if you want it to be Kim and Courtney, Kim, Kim and Garrett, or Garrett and Courtney. Just a bundle <laughs> Just of laughs all the time. Who needs, who needs expert knowledge or rationale? puppies out it's looking good look at that it's just zooming in on my face yeah hide your face there we go we're working on it we're working on it <laughs> Still wet and spoogy in some places, but hopefully it'll focus. Yeah, there's the first one inside, inside, outside. Oh, I didn't tell you, we're gonna do the back too. Check that out. Looking good, looking good. There it goes, there it goes. Looking good. Okay, that's today's video. We have blinged out our Nike swoosh and some little bling the on the back, the heel. <laughs> if you have had an opportunity to bling out your tennis shoes, post me a picture down below and let me see them. Now I think I need to do some for both of my little kids, my 10 year old and 13 year old. They would love it. 